Hi everyone. In this video, we'll be exploring how perceptual sets influence our visual perception. To start off with, we'll be defining what a perceptual set is. Next, we'll explain how they influence our interpretation of visual information through a range of factors, including past experiences, context, motivation, and emotional states. So let's get started. So when we look at something, we often pay attention to certain details more than others. For example, when we sit down in a classroom, we instinctively look at our teacher and the whiteboard at the front, rather than at a blank part of the carpet or wall. This is because we have learnt to select important visual information and ignore other aspects of an image over time. The reason our brains work this way is to help us sift through visual stimuli more efficiently. This idea leads us on to the definition of a perceptual set, which consists of factors that give us a tendency to focus on certain visual aspects. Our knowledge, which is the product of our current ideas about the world, also causes us to focus on specific parts of an image. Leading on from this, what we expect to see can greatly influence the way that we interpret visual stimuli. So, now that we understand how our ideas can help affect what we see, let's go ahead and look at some specific factors that can influence a perceptual set. These include past experiences, context, motivation, and emotional state. So the first factor that can influence what we pay attention to in a visual scene is our past experience. As we grow up, we learn a number of rules over time, which influence our expectations and the way we see the world. An example of this is when we're crossing the road, and we know from past experience to look at whether the sign is red or green, which signals whether we should wait or walk. While there might be some general rules and expectations that guide our perception, each individual has their own unique life experiences, which informs their current perspective of the world. This means that two people can view and interpret the same thing differently. Say, for example, your younger sibling is in kindergarten and hasn't learned that they must look at the front of the room and pay attention to the teacher. You, on the other hand, would know this because you've been at school for a lot longer than your sibling. So the second factor that can influence a perceptual set is context, which refers to your external environment. Often, the situation you are in can determine which aspects of scenery you're paying attention to. If you're walking to school, you probably won't pay much attention to what clothes strangers are wearing. But if you're at a fashion show, your gaze would be fixed on the clothes that are worn by the models. On the flip side, if we expect certain things to be in one context, but then we find them in a different context, it may lead us to only focus on this object, as we view it being out of place. For example, if you're walking down the street and you see someone wearing a thick jacket in the middle of summer, you may focus on this, since it doesn't align with your expectations of what a person should be wearing in this context. So, context plays an important role in influencing our expectations of what is most important in a visual scene. Now, let's move on to the third factor which can influence a perceptual set, motivation. The visual information we pay attention to can vary depending on what our needs and goals are at the moment of perception. Motivation is driven by psychological factors such as interests, achievement and desire as well as biological factors such as the need for food or rest. An example of a psychological motivator is when you really want to finish running a race, so you might only focus on the finish line rather than paying attention to other runners. Alternatively, an example of a biological motivation might be if you are hungry while on a road trip and you start paying attention to the fast food signs more than natural scenery. So, from this, we can see that motivation can influence us to see what we want to see, rather than what information is actually present. So the last factor which can influence a perceptual set is our emotional state. Our feelings can play a big role in the way we see visual information in our environment. If we're feeling happy, we are drawn to visual stimuli that mirror our emotions, such as smiling faces and cute puppies. If we are feeling sad, then we may focus on visual stimuli that reinforce our sadness, such as rain or dark clouds. So, to wrap up, we know that a perceptual set is a preconceived idea or expectation that we have 
that can influence our interpretation of an image. There are a range of factors that can influence a perceptual set, such as past experience. We learn over time to focus on certain things in our environment which are more useful than others. Context also affects a perceptual set, as we expect to focus on objects which match the context. This also means that we can be distracted by things that are out of its original context. Motivational factors, which can be biological or psychological, play a role in the way we perceive visual stimuli and can vary from time to time. And finally, our emotional state can significantly shape how we see an object, as we are drawn to things that match our feelings. And that's all for now. I'll see you next time.